So let's suppose that at an initial time of t equals zero seconds, a carousel is given a constant angular acceleration of 0.1 rads per second squared. Now, initially, the carousel's angular velocity is zero, but it increases over a time interval of eight seconds. And at the eight second mark, we want to calculate four things. A, the angular velocity, B, the linear or translational velocity of an object found at a three meter mark from the axis of rotation, C and D, the tangential acceleration and radial acceleration at the same exact point as in part B. So let's begin with part A. So let's recall the relationship between our angular acceleration and angular velocity of a rotating object. So the angular acceleration is equal to change in our angular velocity divided by change in time. The change in time is simply 8 seconds because our initial time is 0 seconds and our final time is 8 seconds. Now, we know initially the angular velocity is zero, so all we're looking for is the change in our angular velocity, and we know what our angular acceleration is. That's simply 0.1 rats per second squared. So we rearrange this equation and bring the change in time term to the left side. So we get change in time multiplied by our angular acceleration is equal to our change in angular velocity, what we're looking for. So we plug in our two values, our two knowns, 8 seconds times 0.1 rads per second squared, and we get 0.8 rads per second is our angular velocity after 8 seconds. Now, let's move on to part B. So we want to find the linear uh, velocity of the object at a point three meters from the axis of rotation from the center of our carousel. So recall the relationship between velocity and angular velocity. So velocity or linear velocity is equal to the product of the angular velocity and our radius from that point, three meters to our axis of rotation, which is three meters. So we see that velocity is equal to 0.8 times 3, and that gives us 2.4 meters per second. Now, the omega, our angular velocity, is identical to the one obtained in part A. Now, let's move on to part C. We want to find the tangential acceleration of the object at the same exact point. So let's recall the formula for tangential acceleration. So it's equal to the derivative of our instantaneous velocity with respect to time. And recall that velocity is equal to our omega angular velocity times our radius. So we take this and plug it into the V, we get the following result and recall that d omega divided by dt is simply our alpha, our angular acceleration. So we simply plug in our 0.1 rats per second squared, we plug in our 3 meters and we obtain 0.3 meters per second squared is our tangential acceleration. Now, what about part D? What exactly is the radial or centripetal acceleration of an object found three meters away from the center of the carousel, from the axis of rotation? So recall the formula for radial acceleration. Radial acceleration is given by V squared divided by R. Now, V we found in part B, it was 2.4 meters per second. And R we found, or R is actually given, that's 3 meters. So 2.4 meters per second squared divided by 3 gives us 1.92 meters per second squared. So this is the magnitude of our radial acceleration, 1.92 meters per second.